Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today we're gonna synthesize sodium sulfide. Check this out. So all I'm using in this investigation is sodium that I have stored in some mineral oil, sulfur, a crucible, and a dropper for my water. I'm gonna start by adding four grams of sulfur to my crucible. Next, I'll remove a small piece of sodium from my mineral oil. I store sodium in mineral oil because it can readily react with moisture in the air. It's a rather soft alkali metal, and it's easy to cut. Make sure you cut a small piece of sodium, and when you do so, you'll be able to see what it looks like beneath that oxide layer. Very shiny metal, very soft. And I'm gonna cut a piece that's probably about even half that size. That's about right, about the size of your fingernail. I'm gonna put that right in the middle of our sulfur. The next step is just to dry off your piece of sodium. And you can already see that oxide layer is beginning to form on the surface that was shiny. And you're gonna put this right in the middle of your sulfur. You might even put a little bit of sulfur on top. Before you add your water. Okay, now you're ready to add just a drop of water onto the sodium to start the reaction. And here we go. There it is. Very exothermic. <laughs> The product in this reaction is called sodium sulfide. So what happened in this amazing exothermic synthesis reaction is we started with elemental sodium. That was the silver metal that we cut. And we combined that with sulfur to create the product sodium sulfide that has all kinds of industrial purposes. It's used as pulp in the paper industry. It's used in water treatment. It's used in the textile industry as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time.